a lot of people have done laddered steaks. Yeah. Is there a difference between laddered steaks and like, you know, just steaking all at once? Like, sure. I always kind of wondered what people's logic was kind of behind why yeah. they would choose ladders versus just going all in. Yeah. So ideally, and I would love to see this as part of go.hex.com and other interfaces that allow you to stake such a staker app. This product was designed to reduce volatility by having people choose end stakes where other people weren't ending their stakes to reduce the shock of market supply if anyone wanted to sell at that point. No one's using that feature and it kills me. So if you're smart and you're staking, please choose your end stakes on the chart of end stakes in gaps where people aren't end staking. So if you go to hex.vision, you can see a chart of when other people's stakes are ending and choose gaps where there's less stakes ending so that you could, if you want to sell, get a higher price there because there's less supply selling at that point. Um, now look, I don't have a crystal ball. Who knows if the price is really higher, but in theory, less market supply tends to mean higher price because supply and demand, less supply equals it's static or increasing demand, a higher price. So staking ladders. Now, by the way, if you have all your stakes in a single stake, you're getting a higher Bigger pays better bonus, BPB, which goes up to 10% at 150 million hex. So, you know, if you stake 150 million hex at once, you're going to get an extra 10% shares. If you spread that over 10 stakes, each one of those is only going to get a 1% bonus instead of a 10% bonus. So you're, in effect, only getting a 1% bonus on everything instead of a 10% bonus. So bigger pays better was designed to reduce load on the blockchain by giving people incentive to make larger single stakes. A stake ladder means that you've always got some money coming out. And then if you ever need money for some reason, you're less likely to have to emergency end stake and be penalized. And so a stake ladder is gonna have higher gas fees because you're using the network more. It's gonna have lower, bigger pays better um, share bonus multiplier. Um, and it's gonna reduce the chances that you ever uh, emergency end stake because you always have some money coming out and you've got some granularity where if you did have to emergency end stake you could do it with a smaller part instead of a larger part does that make sense and if you have bills to pay you know if you've got to pay rent every month and you're using this to just invest your principal and then peel off uh, yield for monthly expenses you know, depending on how big your stack is if it can make if you make sense to to pay the gas on such a such a stake and your gas fees on the shorter stakes are much lower because you're totaling up a, f a lower number of days. You know, your, your cost to end stake is linearly related to the number of days that have to be calculated in the end stake, right? So if you have 100 days, you've got 100 S load operations you have to do. And if you only got 10 days, you only got 10 to do. So does that answer your question? Yeah, that's that's great. Um, I always learn num learn something new from uh, listening to your stream, so this is awesome to do. My pleasure, on. man. Um, I think I actually used Hex Vision uh, back great. when I first got into Hex. And I just sometimes I even forget all the cool tools that me too that are available. <laughs> it's Hex. true. So, yeah, yeah. There's awesome. a lot of really cool tools. Uh, Looking forward to yeah. awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah.